December 1942, somewhere over the Solomon Islands. A 19-year-old waste gunner named Eddie Kowalski stands in the belly of a B-17, hands gripping a Browning M-2 that's vibrating like a jackhammer. A Japanese Zero slides into view at his 10 o'clock, maybe 300 yards out, moving left to right across his field of vision like a dart. Eddie does exactly what every instinct in his body tells him to do. He puts the crosshairs directly on the enemy plane's fuselage and squeezes the trigger. Fifty rounds scream out, tracer fire arcs through the air, and Eddie watches every single bullet pass harmlessly behind the Zero's tail. The Japanese pilot doesn't even take evasive action. He just keeps flying, completely untouched, while Eddie's ammunition counter spins down toward empty. This wasn't Eddie's failure. This same scene played out thousands of times across every theater of World War II during those early years. American gunners, well-trained, motivated, equipped with the finest machine guns ever manufactured, were missing. Not occasionally. Constantly. The Army Air Forces conducted a study in early 1943 analyzing gun camera footage from bomber missions over Europe and the Pacific. The results were catastrophic. Trained aerial gunners were achieving hit rates below 4% against crossing targets. 4%. That meant for every 100 rounds fired at an enemy aircraft moving perpendicular to the gunner's position, 96 bullets were hitting nothing but air. The mathematics were brutal. A typical engagement might last 8 to 12 seconds before the enemy fighter broke off or moved out of range. The Browning M2 fired roughly 800 rounds per minute, about 13 rounds per second. In a 10-second engagement, a gunner could theoretically put 130 rounds into the air. With a 4% hit rate, that meant five bullets might actually strike the target. Five hits weren't enough to down a zero, let alone a rugged aircraft like the Focke-Wulf FW-190. German and Japanese fighters could absorb dozens of 50 caliber rounds and keep flying. The human cost was staggering. In 1943 alone, the 8th Air Force flying over Europe lost 188 bombers per month on average. Each B-17 carried 10 men. That's 1,880 air crewmen killed, captured, or missing every 30 days and a significant percentage of those losses came from bomber formations that couldn't effectively defend themselves against fighter attacks. The gunners were doing everything right according to their training, tracking the target, maintaining sight pictures,